Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today it's time for GPU maintenance again. We'll take a look at an Asus Strix RX 470 with broken fans, repair it and talk about possibilities what to do when your GPU fans are dying. Funny thing first, Asus ROG cards really seem to be polarizing. Among gamers they seem to be very popular. But on the other side of the spectrum, GPU miners seem not to like them too much because it seems that what's happened to me happens more often. You can get a lot of reviews and opinions how fast Strix fans die. This is strange for me because my mining cards actually have an easier life than most gaming cards, meaning they are undervolted or downclocked and generally fans are never running too high. But nevertheless, one fan died on me. In the past I've dealt with this in different ways. One time we built a custom monster cooler for a GPU, stripping the card of the original one and slapping on some high powered delta fans. I'll link the video of the old R9 280X in the top right corner. To this day the card is around 50C Celsius. For a so Tech 1080 Mini, I got a complete new cooling unit in an RMA process, another possibility. And then again, sometimes I've managed to save a stuck fan. We'll look at that possibility first. So one way is to peel off the back sticker, so you can reach the bearing of the fan. In the past I've had luck with a combination of my favorite maintenance tool, WD-40 Contact Cleaner, together with some smearing oil. So first, spray some ECC into the opening and turn the fans manually to spread it. After it has dried off, smear the bearing a bit. That has worked for me in the past, but the RX 470 fan seems to be even more broken. Turning fine when straight, but wobbling so much that it gets stuck. That indicates for me that something inside has broken. Some fans can be open completely, but you have to be really careful and the fans can break. So besides custom coolers and re-smearing, we get to the last resort, which I had to do this time. Order a replacement fan. For most popular cards, you can find replacement fans on eBay. They are never new, but rather used or refurbished parts. For this card, I could find a single fan for under 20 bucks. Shipping from China did take some time and I took the card out of order for that time. It's the first break for the card in more than one year. By the way, I've had much older cards which have been working for me longer and those fans are still fine. So it might really be that Asus is cheaping out on their fans a bit. Even though ROG Strix is normally their most expensive lines of GPUs. Meh. Of course you can replace some fans without completely taking your card apart, this will depend on your model. But you know I love repasting cards as well, and since I have not done so yet on this card, it will also get some cleaning from the inside, as well as my beloved Thermal Grizzly paste to put it back together. I won't spend too much time on this today, we've opened a variety of cards on the channel already, and I'll link an example in the top right corner where we check temperatures before and after. The dried thermal paste on the side gave me a bit of a hard time, but today I want to concentrate on fans only. Still mind to wait long enough for all the alcohol and contact cleaner to evaporate before you continue. So let's build it back together. Don't forget to plug the fans back in. It sounds obvious, but well, <laughs> it happens. The card is back together and besides the missing Asus sticker on the replacement fan, it is as good as new. So let's put it back in the rig and back to work. This one was one of the cards of my mixed AMD rig in the mining room downstairs, which you know from my monthly farm updates. Everything is fine and <laughs> I did not destroy anything. So let's recap. Sometimes you can save a fan by cleaning and smearing it again. Or you can go crazy and build a custom cooler. Today we went the easy way. So a replacement fan from China, which I'd call the last resort. So at least for me it seems that the opinions about Strix fans are right. I have other ROG Strix cards, for example a GTX 1060 triple fan, as well as a smaller RX 460, and both still run fine and the fans are okay. But let's hope they won't die on me so soon. Did any of you folks have similar experiences with Strix cards? How long did they hold out and do you have other methods of getting them going again which I did not mention? Let's start a discussion in the comments. The rig itself will be changing as well again soon, but that is a topic for another video. That's already it for this week. All the best to each and every one of you, happy mining and bye!